Governor Terry Branstad wants to see action on education spending within the first 30 days of the session. Representative Cindy Winkler says no amount of time will lead to the 4% spending increase she says is necessary. The governor wants 2%, Republicans proposing a little more than 1%, levels she calls inadequate. Unfortunately, seeing that in some of the performance rankings, um, we've, we've dropped a little bit in reading and math. Uh, in our K-12 schools, and um, this is a result of not adequately funding our schools. Winkler lays the blame squarely on her counterparts on the other side of the political aisle. It really is unfortunate that um, our, our children, our K-12 uh, preschool as well, um, are, are taking the brunt of the decisions that the Republican Party is making. Republican Senator Mark Chelvin says what is being proposed is workable. For me, it's a question of not only how much money should we be putting towards K-12 through education, but also making sure that it's earmarked in order to make the mo most impactful. Senator Chelgren represents a rural district of Wapalo County and says his priority is transportation. He's calling on his caucus to determine their priorities in order to set a path to funding for today, tomorrow, and the future. We as the Senate have to make the determination on what we think is best with regards to how much additional money we're going to give to education for the following year, possibly the following two years.